going to make some holes uh, that are going to cross all the timber nodes. Those paper tubes must be, uh, for this kind of use, uh, entirely waterproofed. I wanted to take advantage of anything exists here. So when I saw this kind of retaining wall, I thought we can use this as a part of uh, our building, as a retaining wall, and also it's a part of the, the two sides of the wall. We can save a lot of money by using this retaining wall. So then, that's why I decided to put this uh, pavilion against this uh, the retaining wall, so that it's a way to separate the existing building and the pavilion as much as possible, but also it's a way to make uh, economy uh, out of this particular uh, site. I'm not really keen just to use papers as a structure. This doesn't need to be structure. As long as this is available locally, it's very important to work with local manufacturer. I think I'm very lucky to have very good local architects, local engineer, and also the contractor is very enthusiastic for small but it's a challenging building.
We chose Shigeru Ban because he's probably the epitome of a number of values that had to do with integrating the East and the West, as well as his commitment to sustainability. This building here is going to be used mainly for executive education programs. I hope you have the time to visit the IE campus in Madrid and to contemplate this wonder, which is probably one of the best pieces of modern architecture which is committed to sustainability. Mm -hmm.